Good day. Today's Friday and uh, we've been learning how to win the real battles in life. And today I want to end off winning the real battles with regards to relationships. You know, relationships, if they are not going well, man, they can be the source of a lot of emotional turmoil. And so I want to leave you with a couple of keys this morning on how to win the war with regards to the relationships that you're in. And most of what how we deal with relationships was formed by before the age of 10, that we learnt certain things on how to deal with things based on our childhood, and then we model that as we grow up. And so I want to leave you with a couple of keys, you know, so that you can experience healthy relationships. There's a statistic that says 87% of success in life is directly related to the ability to get along with other people. And so that is a high percentage that when my relationships are going well, man, I can endure and get through anything and life seems good. But when my relationships are not going well, man, it makes me want to quit and give up and move and do all sorts of things. So firstly, to win the war in relationships, I've got to recognize that it starts with me. It never starts with somebody else needing to change. And when I say it starts with me, I need to feel good about myself. I've got to have a healthy self-worth about myself. In Romans 12, 18, it says, If possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Notice what he's saying here. The responsibility is on me. He's saying as far as is possible, as far as it depends on me, live at peace. So he's saying the responsibility on creating an environment of peace starts with me. And I've got to know, listen, I have a healthy self-worth. I'm loved of God. And I'm not going to allow how other people treat me to determine how I'm feeling about myself. In Romans 15, 5 in the message, it says, May our dependably steady and warmly personal God develop maturity in you so that you can get along with each other as well as Christ gets along with you. What an encouragement. I love the descriptives about our God. He's saying he's dependably steady and he's warmly personal. And he's saying that the way that Christ gets along with you, get along with other people. Well, how do you think Christ is getting along with you? Man, he accepts you. He loves you. He's forgiven you. He's relaxed in your presence. He's good to you. So he's saying, take that same mindset in terms of how you deal with others. Secondly, my encouragement is walk in love. In John 13, 34, in the message, it says, Let me give you a new command. Love one another. In the same way I have loved you, you love one another. This is how everyone will recognize that you are my disciples when they see the love you have for each other. So he's saying, love each other as he's loved you. God loved you first. And his love for you is a self-sacrificial love considering you valuable and precious. And he's saying, allow God to love you that way. And then in return, love those around you. And then thirdly, to get along with other people, be a quick forgiver. You know, they asked Billy Graham after he'd been married for 60 something years, how come they had a, he had such a successful marriage? And he said, my wife and I are quick forgivers. They've learned how to forgive quickly. And I want to encourage you, be a quick forgiver. Don't hold on to grudges. Man, you are going to upset people. People are going to upset you. But learn to forgive quickly. And I'm going to close with the scripture in Ephesians 4.32. And become useful and helpful and kind to one another, tender-hearted, compassionate, understanding, loving-hearted, forgiving one another readily and freely as God in Christ forgave you. And that's good news, that you've been forgiven readily and freely, that you stand before God completely forgiven. And the encouragement then is to take that forgiveness because you've been forgiven of so much and to forgive quickly to those who have offended and upset you. And you might have to do it often. We all have to do it often. So I want to encourage you, be a quick forgiver. I pray that you've been blessed this week in winning the real battles in life. And I want to encourage you that you are always highly favored and deeply loved of God.